hello everyone and welcome to or back to my channel so today i'm down in florida <laughs> i just scoot over so that you can see the palm trees um okay so anyway i'm gonna be showing you guys today how to build like different hunter jumper jumps i saw a couple of requests for a video like this and i thought it'd be just easy to do and get up for you guys so yeah, we're just gonna be building some different jumps that I came up with and they actually turned out really cute. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay. slab of like a different color on the top but that's just that's how you do it very easy let me just knock this down because it doesn't look very good i guess we can just go down the line so i'll show you how to build this jump what you're gonna need is you're gonna need and this one doesn't have anything you can build it and it doesn't have any of the poles or anything so i'll just do the colors that i did you'll need the log and then I do spruce slab. Okay, I think I've got everything. So, you just do these just like that. Oops, I'm really struggling today with my building. And then, so it's just fencing stacked on top of each other. And then you do your log. Some more fencing just like this. Do that. And then the slabs. And then I love to do buttons on the top of these. It just makes it look better. And there you have it. Simple as that. But I do like to add for the hunter jumps, especially since they're more like, um, 
naturey and woodsy, I'd say. <laughs> um, you just put lots of like greens and stuff around them because that's what I love to do. But that's how you build that jump and I'm not even gonna tear it down. So going on to the next one, this one's really cool. It's one of my favorites and you can do it any color as well. And you also don't have to use the lightning rod if you don't want to. And you can also make it however big you want. I like to do it one, two, three, four, five, I think it's six. Six wide, you put your greens on top of it. Again, two of these things, you go like that like that and then put these on top I recently figured this out too and it gives it a nice little look so you could even leave it like that if you don't want to do these but I like to do these it just you know if I have them might as well use them so that's how you do that jump super cool and then next I guess we can do this one so this is an oxer and yeah love it. it it's really cool this one has a lot of the the rods so if you whatever you want to do if you want to take the time to learn to retexture then definitely do that so super simple you're just for the first part of it you're just gonna do this i don't know if i made it too wide but whatever and then you're gonna take your greens make it a block apart yeah do this this one's three high and then this Ta -da. super simple oops I kind of messed that up right there but oh well looks fine and there you have it Ta -da. a nice little oxer Okay, so on to the standards. I love these jumps so much. I'm definitely gonna be putting them in my arena back at my house, just cause they are like small and perfect to like just have in a little arena. So you just need fences. You can do, let's do a couple different colors. So I did red, you can do whatever you want. Um, and then I like to get the same color of buttons for them. So I need mangrove, spruce. And then what else? Oh, I need my poles. And you could even do, okay, so this is how you do it. Super easy. It's the same thing with these. You just do that button right there to make it look cool. These guys, like that. Make it however big, however small or wide. And then a button and then you're done and it looks really good so now I'll do a spruce one I want to see what this looks like oops and then these are the end rods which like I said I use for literally all of my fences because they look really cool but they also look great for jumps and then a button Ta -da! That one is very, <laughs> very short. I like it when they're a little bit longer than that, but you get the idea. It looks great. You can do the mangrove, which I like a lot with the the red poles. It looks really cool. So you, yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna build another one. You already know how to do it. It's so easy, but it looks really cool and are perfect small jumps for your arena. And okay. I didn't, I haven't done that one over there yet, but we can do this one. And maybe I can just kind of break this down for you. Um, I might as well build it. So I have been using this technique a lot. <laughs> so it's just the fences. You do double, whoa, wow. Um, and then you take your slab and you do one, double, one, two, double it up, and then one. And then your poles or fencing and then you take another one and go on top just like that and you could even do some little buttons if you want to make it look better okay and that's it for that jump which is not my favorite I was just like 
well I do like it it looks cool it could be I don't think I love the color for this one I think it would look really good if you did spruce and then did lots of light greens around it then I think it could definitely be a hunter jump so okay now on to the cross country jump I just wanted to throw this one in here because I love it so what I always I yeah <laughs> sometimes I get ahead of myself and I don't even know what I'm talking about um so we're gonna need <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny a spruce and then polished diorite stairs hopefully I said that right diorite and then wait yeah this down here a block of iron okay so it's one two three it's it's just too wide and then I like to make it one two three four five six seven long and then you make your little stripe with the iron just like that do your stairs and then your spruce stairs and then well you would know how to make the flag the flags are optional but the flags make it look way better so there's your little cross-country roll top jump really easy to do a lot of these jumps are just like super easy but they look great so yeah on to actually the last one which was this little guy so i'll just show you it real quick i did it with gates and i used my end rod retextured and then i had the little buttons but i guess we don't have to do those just to show you so it's one two gate that thing that <gasps> excuse me and then this, I am placing these things all over the place, just like that. Same thing on this side, gate, that, and that. And then that's it. And then the buttons do really add quite a bit, so I'll stick those on real quick. That and that. Also, I don't know, my audio has been a little weird when I play like this, you know, when I'm like doing it live. I don't know if you can hear like the little clicking or like just if you can hear me playing. I don't know if that annoys you guys. I don't really know what it sounds like. It, it makes me mad, but anyway, so wow, I've like doubled everything. So those are the jumps. I believe it was seven of them. <clears throat> Um, but if you guys want me to come up with any like more jump ideas, I probably can, but these were like my top favorites and yeah, that's how you make them. Hopefully I didn't go through it too fast. If you need, you can even take like screenshots cause I think, you know, just like looking at it, you can probably build it cause they're just that easy. So, um, yes, I thought I'd do my outro up here so that you can see everything. If you haven't seen this place. I have a tour of it on my channel if you want to check that out. Um, but anyway, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye!